Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidModderX.com. Today we're going to be covering the Hyperdrive ROM for the Verizon Galaxy S4. Big shout outs to developer Esprit94 who's put this awesome TouchWiz ROM together now. Uh, the main reason you would want to run a Hyperdrive ROM is because it's built off of TouchWiz. So you're not going to lose any of your TouchWiz functionality. However, it has been debloated, so all the Verizon uh, bloatware that's included, all the Amazon bloatware, anything that's extra that doesn't have to do with the functionality of this phone has been completely removed. So that's going to give you some extra storage space, and it's also going to speed up your device. Another thing right off the bat that you'll notice is that this launcher is a whole lot quicker than the TouchWiz launcher that comes stock out of the box. This is a modified TouchWiz launcher by Esprit. And like I said, you can notice that uh, lag has pretty much gone away. I, I haven't noticed any lag at all on this updated launcher. So we'll go ahead and run into the settings and see what we're working with here. We'll go into more and about phone. We're running Android 4.2.2. The version is uh, VRUAMDK, so the latest build of Android for the Verizon Galaxy S4. Of course, this is Hyperdrive Release 3. This is the latest release as of this video. Of course, he's updating this ROM all the time, so you want to check the thread and the link in the description uh, for any updates that do come out. Now, this ROM is totally stock, but it has tons of tweaks and mods for performance and it also has some extra custom settings as well. Uh, you'll notice right off the bat that it has the stock S4 theme. Nothing's really been changed at all with the theming. If we go into uh, hyperdrive control, this is where you have all of your custom settings. So if you go into hyperdrive over the air, you'll be able to download any ROM updates or themes through here, but also any modifications, any applications, you'll be able to get those here. If you wanted to update your ROM, you would just select ROM. If you wanted to add any Google applications that didn't already come with the install, you would go to Google Applications. You'll find those there. You have some various ROM mods, ad blocking, language enabler, volume hack, and Adobe Flash can all be installed from this. Then you have some general applications. Apollo Music and Signage Mod File Manager. These are both Signage Mod files that you can grab from here. Then you have Verizon Bloat. If for any reason you wanted to add the bloat back to your phone, you would be able to grab those here as well. And then any Samsung applications uh, that you may want, you can grab those here. And then uh, there are some TouchWiz launcher mods. And then you also have custom settings, general modifications, multi-window manager. You can come in here and add applications to your multi-window. All these applications can be enabled in multi-browser. Then you would click save. Okay, to edit your multi-window you can just hold the back button and then click edit. And then you're able just to drag and drop these into your multi-window. And you can add all of your applications to your multi-window if you choose. Okay, there's super user settings. You've got interface mods, LED control. You can go in here and change your LED uh, for these applications here. So that your LED will flash a different color whenever you get notifications from those applications. Then you have the icon changer. You can actually go in here and select an icon and you can change it here. You can change the size of the icon. You change the color of the icon. And you can add filters to the icon as well. So all kinds of things that you can do to customize each individual icon to your liking. You have some different application mods, uh, download all files, CPU information. You have the GPS quick fix and media battery drain fix. There's some advanced mods here. Uh, this includes the framework installer. There's a theme engine so that you can run any uh, signage mod 10 or AOKP theme from the market. And then you can reboot your device to apply any of those customizations. We pull down the toggles, uh, you will notice that he's added the Wi-Fi toggle, the mobile hotspot 
toggle and the air gestures toggle. If we open up any application, we need to close it up. We can simply long press the menu button that'll kill the application. We have a custom four-way reboot menu. So if we go to restart, we can reboot, hot boot, enter download mode or recovery mode all from the four-way reboot menu. There are some extra settings in your messaging. So if we go here, you have schedule messages and let's see, we should have group messages in here as well. Yeah, group messaging is there, uh, several group conversations, and then there's some theming options here as well for your MMS. So you'll also notice up top that some of the annoying notifications have been removed. The, on, the ongoing Wi-Fi message has been removed here. Your GPS status has been removed as well. If you're worried about losing root or losing your unlocked bootloader, uh, you won't have to worry about that when you run Hyperdrive because Verizon over-the-air updates have been totally removed from this ROM. Another neat feature here is that uh, you do have 360 degree rotation in any application. So we do have a couple of extra applications that are included here. You'll notice you have the A-Note HD, you have the ES File Explorer, you do have the pop-up browser which can be resized to any size. And then you'll see that we do have the inverted YouTube app as well. So as far as performance is concerned on the Hyperdrive ROM, this has to be one of the cleanest, fastest TouchWiz ROMs available. You know, you've spent the money on the Galaxy S4. More than likely, it's because you saw the features that were advertised on television or in the store. You don't want to lose those features. This is the perfect ROM to go with for someone who's looking for the Galaxy S4 features. Battery life has been pretty good. I've gotten uh, through the day, every day that I've ran this ROM. We'll look in our settings and I'll show you guys the battery life here. So I've been on it for nine and a half hours. I'm at 42%. My screen's been on almost two hours, so an hour and 55 minutes. So battery life has been good here, uh, better than average. And then there were a few other little things that I wanted to show you that are included in this ROM before we move to the install. There are some scripts that are included here. So if you wanted to run the V6 hyperdrive script, uh, what you would do is run into the terminal emulator. You would type SU and V6. And there's all kinds of options that you can change in here. Um, like uh, you can do a, there's a 3G speed tweak that you can do. So if you're ever in areas that don't have good 4G, if you want to improve the speed on your 3G, there is a hack that's included in this V6 application. Now the animation here takes quite a while, but you have 30, I believe it's 36 different options to choose from. So that's something that's definitely worth looking into. You want to play around with the V6. Uh, that's another great feature of the Hyperdrive ROM. And then one last feature that I think I forgot to mention earlier, if we go into settings and we go into connections, more networks, we can turn on our hotspot and it will function even without the Verizon provisioning. So the hacked Verizon Wi-Fi hotspot is included in this ROM. Definitely a plus for that. And what we'll do is we'll go ahead and reboot into recovery and we'll flash the ROM. So once again, big shout outs to Esprit94, the developer of the Hyperdrive ROM. He's done superb work on the Galaxy S3. I've also run his ROM on that device and have thoroughly enjoyed it. So once we boot into recovery, the install will be pretty simple. We don't have to install any G apps or anything. We just want to wipe. And we're wiping data, cache, and download. So you'll just swipe to wipe. Then we go to install, head to our download folder, which is where it should be if we've downloaded it directly to our phone. And we're looking for the zip file. We'll just select that and swipe to flash. Pretty simple stuff. And then we can reboot the device. So it does away with the Verizon. Yeah. Uh, the Verizon boot animation, you're just going to get a stock Samsung boot animation. But anyways, guys, that has been the Hyperdrive ROM for the Verizon Galaxy S4. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage like this. I'll be covering the HTC One, the Galaxy S4, the Note 2, and all the other devices that you guys know that I cover. 
You can find more of me at DroidMotorX.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidMotorX. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.